This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while, but it's been kind of tough to piece together. So I figured, you know what? I just came back from a moto camping trip. So let me just unpack with you guys and I'll show you everything that I carry when I go moto camping. This is gonna be a true user stuff I've purchased myself, kind of budget friendly camping type setup. And number one is gonna be my gear. Whenever I go moto camping, I'm usually going pretty far, at least a few hours away. I'm not just going up the road and camping at some campsite. So I like having my gear number one because this is my gear for the entire weekend i have these as my pants this is my jacket i can put a water bladder back here which i might be going to a book bag because that makes this jacket incredibly heavy these are very breathable they're waterproof so again i don't have to lug around five different pairs of pants now as far as those being my pants for the weekend i do wear spandex underneath them so this is really my main pant that's kind of like my outer shell and during the winter i wear fuzzy ones and during the summer i wear breathable just straight up again that workout type of material and this serves two purposes number one you're gonna stay a lot fresher than stinking all the time it absorbs that sweat but most importantly again wearing big motorcycle uh, pants or heck even jeans when you ride for long distance your pants come around and flap around on your ankles and your legs it gets incredibly annoying this really alleviates that again whichever ones you're wearing and this is something you know even when i ride local i tend to put these on all the time they're incredibly cozy again laugh at them if you want or make fun of them but they are game changing when you're riding i highly recommend slapping these on so let's go on and get to the juicy stuff let's go on and break into my bags and talk about what i carry and i'm going to start up here with the handlebar bag now i'm using a giant loop bag but you you can use any handlebar bag right number one i always carry my little kickstand plate here so if i'm camping in a muddy area a really sandy area i can put this down on my kickstand and it'll actually hold my bike up so again i don't have to park my bike far away or pick my campsite based on the ground conditions this will let me put my bike anywhere and next up in this bag i have my little usb adapters to my 12 volt here and i also carry a cable this is a nice retractable one with a little springy deal so i don't got the cable dangling everywhere now you'll notice whenever we pop open the uh, tank bag i have a whole lot more cables as well for backup but this is my preferred because again it just kind of stretches out i don't got this long cable dangling anywhere and again a couple extra uh, sockets next up in here is a lighter just a simple lighter you never know campfire or whatever you need to maybe i don't know mend a little strap together or something always good to have a lighter on you i don't smoke or anything like that but again you need a lighter and we have two more things in here i don't think this really applies this is my garage door opener for when i get home but i always keep me a shank in my bag again multiple purposes protection or just a quick little tool to have and that's really all i keep in my handlebar bag just quick easy stuff i need to access on the fly now this is where some of my most important stuff in store right in my tank bag i cannot ride a bike without a tank bag even though i'm doing it on my triumph now because i don't want to scratch up that paint right but anyway when i'm camping or something i need my tank bag and right on top which you guys can't see i'm using the nelson rig hurricane bag by the way and this is the larger one i have the smaller one which is great if you're not camping or something if you're just going out for a ride but man this one is phenomenal it's pretty big and i will say get in your way just a little bit but my gosh this tank bag is amazing highly recommend it fully waterproof but the first thing i store up on this clear pouch up here which you can put your phone but you're gonna get those foggy kind of spots in there those moist spots so what i leave is a solar power bank up there so anytime i'm riding it is always charging and i always have that backup juice if need be when i get to a campsite and then it also has a flashlight and this stays up here so if i forget a power bank or a flashlight I always, always have a backup. And again, it just stays up there and charges. Absolutely love that. Next, down in the bag, of course, I have my phone. That's because I'm using Carpy Ride here. If I wasn't using the Carpy Ride, my phone would be mounted up there. But since not, I can keep it in the bag. Of course, my wallet stays in there. Sometimes I put it in my jacket if I'm going to be stopping a lot, so I'm not going to keep digging out. But again, sometimes my uh, most important stuff is going to stay right there. Next up, going right in line with that top bit, is a power bank this is an anchor power bank and it's not an expensive one let's see what is it here uh 6, milliamps so nothing major you can probably charge a phone maybe i don't know three or four times something like that quick charge again very slim and again you have that backup this is like my main backup that's my emergency backup there so really nice to have a few extra power backups and the other thing is a flashlight you need a flashlight in a good flashlight 
uh, old buddy of mine introduced me to Olight. No sponsor here or anything. And when I started using these flashlights, I was like, holy smokes, what was I missing? These things are amazing. I wish it was dark and I can show you, but this is the, the Baton 3 Pro Max. I have a few Baton 3s as well, but I went to the Pro Max. No joke, it will light up this entire area. It is phenomenal. I highly recommend it. They're, they're expensive. Like this little flashlight's probably 80 bucks, you know, but uh, wow, I, I will not go camping without one. They are absolutely phenomenal and a necessity. So tissues, you always need tissues, right? Now this is a different one, glass cleaner. I always keep these glass cleaners. These are from Walmart. I believe it's like two bucks a pack. There's 20 wipes in them. And I use these for if I need my windshield clean or my mirrors, but most importantly, my visor on my motorcycle helmet. So if I got bugs and dirt and muck on it, I can always clean it down. I have that right there. And let me tell you what, this is something, they're so thin. You slap them in there and you have them. This is like ah, totally beneficial if you go on long rides like me. Um, next up, what do we got down here? Okay, let me show you this. All those cables. Again, I got a backup uh, lightning port for my iPhone. I have a US, and then I have two USB-Cs, a smaller one and a longer one. Again, always nice to have a few extra cables. Maybe a buddy needs one, or again, you need one to charge something else while you're out and about. What do we got here? Oh, I didn't know I still had this in here. I always keep some snacks in my bike, but I thought I already took these out. Um, many of you know I'm vegetarian, uh, pretty, pretty 99% vegan, but anyways, I carry these organic uh, vegan uh, protein bars. Always nice to have a snack, especially for me, because when we go our group rides, people like going to like Wards and uh, McDonald's and stuff, and there's, you know, I'm gonna get fries and a salad. So having something like this is always uh, pretty nice right there. Uh, coming down here, I have this little tiny screwdriver I got from Home Depot. Love this thing, it's actually a little uh, crank type one. You got all the attachments you need, super small, just fits in there. You always need a screwdriver and this is just so nice it's i forget how much it was maybe 10 bucks at home depot or something and it's just again so versatile that's what i love in my bags is versatile compact stuff right and that goes right along with this which is a little bit bigger than that right but this is kind of my multi handy tool maybe a little excessive i picked this up at sam's there and it just has everything a set of pliers over here if i need Closing that down, you got your big old knife, you got a little saw bit, you got screwdrivers in there. You, you just have everything. Now this is a little bit big, maybe a nice small Swiss Army knife would be better, but um, I got space, so that's why I went with the bigger one here. Now lastly, what I have in here, what do I have? I have a few, this is kind of just jumbled in here, a few extra fuses, you never know. Um, look at this, I got a GoPro battery in here, which I don't even use GoPro anymore. I have some random change, but the last thing I carry is some bear spray. This is the Sabre kind. I, I forget the grade of it or whatever. I've never had to use it, but the biggest thing is I make sure it has a nice locking handle there so I don't accidentally activate it in my bag. But again, it's just a peace of mind, a deterrent, right? Whenever you're out there, whether it be an animal or a weirdo, it's always nice to have a deterrent with you. So as far as the contents in my tank bag, even though we're talking moto camping, this stuff pretty much always stays in there. Even if I'm going for a short ride just around town or locally, this stuff pretty much always stays in there. It's good to have some backups and some essentials. Now let's get to my rear bags and we're gonna start off with my saddle bags. And I'm using the Giant Loop Mojave bags. I love these bags. They're a little expensive and they are a little bit small. I might be upgrading to the um, Nelson Rig ones. You all know I love Nelson Rig stuff. Their strapping system's a little bit of a pain. I, I don't know. I just, I wish these were maybe double the size or heck even half. But anyway, let's see what we carry in them. Uh, by the way, I also carry a water bottle, a little metal one. I usually fill this up pretty significant with ice and it'll last almost the entire weekend actually, and I just pour it in for a drink or something. One tip I will give you is make sure you get one of the bottles with the smaller enclosure. And if you get one of the ones with the big ones, like I had big Yetis they used to carry with me, and the ice would melt super fast because that opening is just very wide. When you have these ones with the small opening there, it's just gonna keep that temperature down and not let a lot of that escape or any heat come in. And again, your ice really stays in there for quite a while. Let me go and put that down there. 
let's go on and pop open these bags. So we're going to start on the right side bag and no specific to this. I usually try to balance out as much as I can. Uh, you know, we got the exhaust over there, nothing over there. So I'll try to balance out the weight as much as I can, but it's really not a massive concern on a smaller bike. On my Africa Twin, I used to kind of, you know, make it a little bit better there. But anyways, in this left bag, I keep my clothes. This is my clothes. I have maybe three or four extra pairs of socks, some uh, drawers, some more of those spandex things, and then a random little tiny pair of shorts, which I honestly usually wear under my pants. So when I get to the campsite, I can just take off my pants and not look like I'm getting undressed in front of everybody, right? I've got shorts on. Um, but again, I leave that right there. Um, you see it's busted open right here, but I usually put it in a little Ziploc, press it down, and then just seal it off. You can use fancier bags that won't pop open like this, but even though these bags are waterproof, it's nice to have a second secure security blanket right there just because again this is your weekend right here you don't want to be uncomfortable that's the one thing about carrying stuff is I want some creature comforts but I also want to be comfortable I don't be riding with soggy feet and this that or the other you know so that is my clothes bag right there but now yonder down here I have another clothes bag and this is another pair of shirt uh, shorts I have uh, two shirts in here and then one of those breathable shirts. I always carry like a nice breathable shirt in case it gets too hot out there, something different to kind of change into. And then again, another pair of socks right there. So maybe overboard on the socks, but again, it's, it's something that always worries me is my boots getting wet and everything. So nice to have a few backups. You never know how wet you're gonna get. So as far as that bag, that is everything there. And those two bags pretty much top that bag out. That's why I wish they were a little bit bigger. This last trip, again, I didn't bring a sweatshirt or sweatpants, which I wish I would have. And I think why I didn't is because like, okay, I'm starting to get full. I don't want to pack anything more in there. But if I had a little bit more space, a pair of jogging pants and a sweatshirt would have been pretty good. But of course, that's really going to depend on your temperature. Let's go on and get to the left bag over here. One zip this. And this is kind of like, I don't want to say emergency stuff, but... Uh, stuff you, you you might need right or your, your essential type stuff so my hba stuff i got the some wipes over here the biodegradable plant-based wipes actually so they uh won't mess with the environment and then this is a little thing i always do when i go on my trips i go to walmart or whatever dollar general a little convenience store and i buy travel stuff uh, my toothbrush i actually threw away at the campsite i buy a little toothbrush and a little tube of paste little um deodorant here because again, whenever I'm done, I'm just gonna chunk them. This isn't the deodorant I use, but I want something easy, compact, and again, that I can just get rid of right there. And it's cheap, right? So I just go through my HBA stuff after each trip, and I buy the small compact. I don't want my main toothbrush out here at the campground, you know what I mean? Um, so anyways, this I keep my HBA in here so it's easy to access, right? I don't gotta dig stuff out. I always carry an extra pair of gloves. I pretty much always leave these in here as well. I keep an extra pair on my Triumph also, just because if it starts raining or something, it's nice to have an extra pair, or if they rip or get muddy, Trust me, an extra pair of gloves is something you need in your bike. Now, going further down here, the other thing I carry is, let me pop this bad boy open. This one may be a little bit bigger. You can probably get a smaller one out there, but this is one of those portable USB charging air compressors. This one's really nice. Uh, you probably can't see it on the screen, but anyways, you can power it up and set your PSI to what you want. So if I want, say, 36 or 30 or whatever, I can set it right there, press power, it'll air it up and stop at that temperature that I have and the cable comes off so it's easily uh, again foldable down there it's just awesome it lasts really good I aired these up maybe twice and then my Triumph as well and I'm still sitting at a full battery it's a little loud and it does go a little bit slow but it's again one of those peace of mind things it's small enough to why not just toss one in there okay so the sun is starting to set here so let's try to get to the meat and potatoes here being my main bag which that one is a little bit lofty. Now, I carry this bag with me on multiple trips. Use this all the way through Smokey 500, Georgia Traverse. This bag went down when I totaled my Triumph, and it's still hanging on strong. It is phenomenal. I believe these bags are only like 50 bucks. This is the 40 liter bag. And again, this has all of my camping stuff in it. Maybe some stuff I probably wouldn't really need. I can probably downsize this a little bit, but it also air compresses over here on the side. Right there, oh, let me do my straps. It'll just air out, so you can really sit on it and again, get all the air out to kind of compress it. But let's pop this open and see what we got. Now, I didn't fold any of this up after my campsite. Whenever I camp, I'm kind of like, all right, let me just compile this as quick as I want. I don't like holding people up. 
and I, I just want to make it quicker and easier, right? So anyways, I have, oh, this stuff is actually still kind of soggy here from camping. I have a little tent mat that I put down on the ground. This is just nice to have because bugs or muck down there or whatever you don't want that seeping up through your tent it's nice to have a little barrier underneath you now next up in this bag is going to be my tent and i want to talk about this tent i've gone through quite a few smaller ones bigger ones lighter ones heavier ones and lightweight is the key uh, but other than that this this one's only like 50 bucks and it's amazing again i've tried so many tents um this i want to show you this this is super cool again one of my things as you've noticed through packing here or unpacking is convenience i like convenience I like quick and easy because uh, i don't want to set up i want to get to riding or hanging out right but this is cool hopefully you guys can see this in the camera so there's one little round thing here and then all of your bars come up and they'll connect and then of course you just stretch all them out but anyways they all connect into this main round hub right there and then that's all your bars they're set up just like that they're aluminum which ah, i can't get them out of my way God. anyways the bars or the poles are aluminum so they don't bend or break as easy and plus they are lighter weight trust me and get your tent with aluminum poles and as far as that adapter up there just makes everything quicker and easier which is what i like so you're not messing around with multiple different poles the other thing as far as the tent let me get this is on the bottom is a rain cover which a lot of tents come with them but believe it or not a lot of them don't and this is why this is so beneficial is not necessarily blocking the rain what i tell you guys every time i film there's a plane going over every time but anyways not so much just blocking the water but the nice thing about tents with rain flies is they usually expand out so you got a little storage compartment in front of you i, I showed me setting up my tent in my last video go check that out but um the nice thing is they also expand out so you got a lot of air flowing in which is nice when it's hot out but when it's cold it may let a little bit in but again i'd prefer airflow rather than being hot and mucky and all that perspiration building up in there so again air or a uh, rain fly on top of your tent and aluminum poles are a must the other thing that should probably be a must that i haven't done yet let me get this oh it must be over here anyways are these stakes my it has these chintzy little stakes i need to go buy some better ones because every time i whack these in i end up bending them so those are a piece of junk now this is funny actually no we'll get to that in a second my mattress my camping mattress i use this coleman one and as you can see here it's a little bit bigger and it's honestly a little heavier than i would prefer it's one of those self-inflating even though you still have to blow it up a little bit i have some of the cheaper ones like you find on amazon they're like 30 bucks or something like that the little like little pool floats kind of number one i always slide off them so if you got a sleeping bag you're sliding around they're noisy and they're just not comfortable those cheap ones on amazon i haven't used a good one yet and i've tried multiple i got this coleman one from target they had them marked down i think they're regularly like 60 bucks i got them for i don't know maybe 20 bucks a piece so i bought like four of them you know that's how much i like them even though they're big bulky and a little heavier than i would prefer i love them next up is my blanket this this is what happened on my last trip if you guys are there i had this rolled up in this little bag right here a little compression bag which those compression bags are nice but you know as great as they are because they obviously compress your stuff they're annoying because it's hard to roll them back up into that and it's just a waste of time afterwards so i'd like just taking mine folding it flat in the bag these go pretty flat there but anyways i thought this was a sleeping bag but it's just a blanket i love these during the summertime they're lightweight they're silky so they don't hold that heat but on this last trip i wish i would have brought a sleeping bag which is what i thought this was but i was wrong and i regret it and then my next up is this little bitty which is what i put underneath my mattress usually you see it's got this waterproof berry on the back and up top it's like uh what do you call that fuzzy fabric stuff i don't know but anyways it's nice because it gives you like a carpet feeling a clean space within your tent so you're not walking around on that silk right there sometimes i use a thicker one a thicker backing on this a little bit more plush but either them work this time i put this actually over my mattress to try it and it was pretty nice because it blocked that heat from coming from the ground into my mattress and then into me so putting this over my mattress was really nice it just blocked that heat out so again a barrier underneath the floor of your tent or over your mattress I tell you what it's it's amazing number one it makes your space a lot more cozy but it also helps out with that heat a bit more um i have some oh back up down here this is usually i have a lot better first aid stuff right here i just got lens wipes 
toothpicks and one band-aid so hopefully nothing happens i definitely need to load up better first aid kit stuff um, over here i always carry a towel usually in there it's probably tossed out already i always keep a hand towel up here wipe down my face dab some sweat or whatever and then i also keep a full-size towel just in case i get soaking wet and i need to pat down and get it when i'm changing my clothes on so towel is a must and lastly in here there's our bag fully empty now Lastly over here, and that wasn't full, like maxed out by the way. I could have fit a whole nother layer of stuff in that bag and been uh, perfectly fine, had space to spare. My little tool kit here, which I might carry a little more than I need. This little tiny ratchet set I got from Home Depot. It has all the different sizes here and everything. So really nice to have that. Um, electrical tape, a tire pressure gauge deal. I don't know why I have two. I got a digital one and then a regular analog one here. I like the analog one better. I'm not sure why I got two. Anyways, this quick little um, tool. It's got some flathead Phillips and then all your Allen wrenches you need. Just nice, quick, easy adjustment. And I got this nice CNC. Remember uh, we talked about their foot pegs. This is a um, little wrench. They didn't send this one out. I actually purchased this, but it's nice because you can take this little bit and fit it down into whatever size you need for your tires. Hopefully I never have to do that. But again, it's nice to have that. And it's this real slim little deal that can fit any different size. You just put it in there, you can crank. They're a little expensive, but again, it's compact, lightweight, and that's what I like. And then I also keep this. This is slime tire and tube stuff. So this is the stuff that's actually meant for tube tires. So if I get a hole in it again, I, probably couldn't change a tube tire if my life depended on it, i might be able to but even with my machine my nomar i still struggle i always pinch the tubes and i don't carry extra tubes with me as you noticed i really never do maybe that's something i should look into as well but this is kind of like my savior here so everything you just saw right there is everything i would take on a quick weekend moto camping trip whether it be a day or two that's pretty much all i would take you're probably asking about food well, honestly, if I'm going for a day or two, I usually don't mess with bringing food. I'll stop at a restaurant on the way or before I go set up camp or grab something real quick from a Dollar General or whatever store I'm passing. Again, for that short of a time, I don't really worry about food. I, there's going to be something somewhere. I'm not going that remote. But if I go on a longer trip, whether it be like anything over three days, four days, something like that, when I did a Smokey 500, I would take this kind of bag. It's a smaller dry bag again it rolls up compresses but i like everything being waterproof as you're telling here because i don't want to worry about something that's not waterproof getting all soggy and then i will carry my jet boil but as you see and this is just again the pan and then the fuel i usually carry a backup fuel then i got all the other attachments utensils and a little cup and stuff so it does start to add up it gets a little bit heavy again with me being vegetarian my options are limited out there so i usually can of soup or something like that some rice and curry or something something just easy right hot chocolate or something and then again my water and it'll fill out this bag and it gets pretty lofty it really does hence the reason i don't carry it on my short moto camping trips but on my longer trips i do load up this bag with food to get me through a few days but as i showed you when we were talking about the tank bag it is nice to pack a few snacks whether that be some protein bars some energy bars or peanuts something like that something just quick and easy to have there and you should always have your water bottle with you no matter what even if you're going for a short ride you know locally always have some sort of water with you so there we go that's my moto camping loadout i want to hear from you all what do you think of my loadout any recommendations something i should have again I think me unpacking here made me think of a few. Number one, some more first aid, and then that tire repair kit. But if there's anything that you guys are like, hey man, you need to check this out, please let me know down in the comments. Because again, I, I always like making my build out or my kit for camping a whole lot easier and more accessible and having some more essentials that I might be forgetting about. But all in all, thank you so much for coming along for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it was able to help you out one way or another. And if it was, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.